Hi guys, welcome to this video which is going to show you how you can prove an unknown gas is chlorine. So you should remember chlorine is diatomic and goes around in pairs, you should also remember it is a green gas. When it comes to the test for it, the first thing you need to do is get yourself some blue litmus paper. Once you've got that, you want to add some water to it so you have damp blue litmus paper. When you then add your unknown gas to that litmus paper, it will start to go red and then eventually it will bleach. Okay, in front of me here, I've got an electrolysis setup. What I'm doing is I'm electrolyzing sodium chloride solution. At my anode, which is this electrode here, I'm gonna be producing chlorine, which is what I want to test. And at my cathode, I'll be producing hydrogen gas. So the test of chlorine then is you need to get yourself something called blue litmus paper. So if I rip off a piece of blue litmus paper, the next thing you want to do is dampen it. So in the mark scheme, the first thing you want to talk about is you need damp blue litmus paper. And I'll put the spelling up on the screen here. So I'm going to damp it with a little bit of water. And then I'm going to hold it up to the electrode where the chlorine is being produced. And we're going to see what happens. Now straight away, you can see that the color has changed. You can see little bits of red in there and you can see little bits of white. The test for chlorine is it turns blue litmus paper red and then bleaches it. So if this was two marks in the exam, you'd get one mark for saying blue litmus paper, one mark for saying bleached. Right, I've got one question for you on this then, which is during the electrolysis of sodium chloride solution, hydrogen and chlorine gas are produced. Unfortunately, the gases weren't labeled when collected, so explain a test you can carry out to identify which gas is which. So you know you've got hydrogen and chlorine. If you need a recap on the test for hydrogen, I've put it in the top right hand corner here. You don't actually need it to answer this question as long as you explain how you know which one is chlorine gas. The other one will therefore be hydrogen. That's going to get you the three marks. However, if you want to do the definition for both and the tests for both, please put that in there. You can still get the marks for doing that. So pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done then. So nice and straightforward. The test is use damp blue litmus paper. That gets you one mark. And then the second mark is for saying that it bleaches it. Now, remember I said, goes red is part of the answer, but you don't always need that. So here, I'm just saying you get one mark for damp blue litmus paper and one mark for bleaches it. And that proves that you've got chlorine present. Now, as I said, if it doesn't go bleached, then it's not chlorine. Therefore, if you know one of them's hydrogen, one's chlorine, the other one, that one has got to be hydrogen. You could alternatively have given the test for hydrogen, which you should know is a lit splint gives a squeaky pop. So any of those five points would have got you three marks. So you needed three of them. That's it. There is a review question for you, which is bringing you a few different things together, which is describe how you can electrolyze sodium chloride solution. The gas is produced at the two electrodes and a test for each gas. So that should be a bit of a, be a, bit of a check for you. See if you can remember what we've done in the rest of this course. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can have a look at my latest video up there. You can also have a look at my website if you haven't seen it before. And you can click on subscribe down below. Bye now.